So we're here with the Lenovo IdeaPad Y510, and you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, that's a Lenovo. Um, it was kind of our reaction to seeing this new fancy machine from Lenovo, but it is a consumer machine, one of Lenovo's first consumer machines. And what we really like about the machine, besides its nice form, is uh, its built-in facial recognition software, which lets you use your face as your password for logging into the OS, and a few other things on the system, um, instead of using a character-based or text-based password. Um, and we've seen some pretty cool things with it so far. Uh, you simply register your face with the, with the software, and you need to have the password to the laptop to do that. And so as you can see, it's registering my face. It's taking kind of parameters of my face. Um, and I'll sit up a little bit more, and it um, can gauge the distance between my eyes and just kind of the dimensions of my facial structure. So now that I'm registered in here, I can cancel out and do a test to make sure that the system recognizes me as the rightful person to log on. And as I log off, you'll see that a nice little camera guy with weird robot face appears and it scans my face and it understands it's me and it logs me in. We're actually really impressed by how, how quickly it can pick up your face and log you in. It's not like something you have to sit here for five minutes uh, where you feel like in that time you would have been able to type in your password. So what we, we really wanted to try to do is put the uh, facial recognition man in this system to test and see if he really can make sure that it is the right person sitting in front of the screen. This is test one. We've had Jeffrey Wilson, who's obviously of the opposite sex, sit in front of the computer and let's see if the facial recognition man can recognize him. Uh, the system uh, is giving a prompt that says it's having difficulty logging in and please adjust your posture and light. Doesn't seem to be working. It does not think that you are me. Even if we did a Freaky Friday type of switch. It looks like the Lenovo is not going to let me in. All right, so test two is using a picture of me, Joanna Stern. Uh, Jeff, if you want to hold up that picture over there to the screen. I'll now attempt to get into the computer by wearing a mask of Joanna. And if you even push forward, still will recognize the eyes on the computer screen, but clearly does not think you're a real person. And we've even punched holes in the eyes to make the image seem more 3D. Uh, and that, that still doesn't work. I mean, it makes us look like creeps but that's about it. Test two has failed. We will now do test three, which is me, Joanna Stern, with a nice sailor's cap and a pair of sunglasses on my face, and it is having a hard time recognizing me. When I take the hat off, my hair is a mess, and it still does not recognize me. And when I turn on and take off the sunglasses, it recognizes me. So all in all, we have to say that this Lenovo and its facial recognition software is quite the uh, keen eye. It, it definitely hasn't been tricked by another person, a picture of me or with me uh, with sunglasses on, so it won't allow the random person to come with sunglasses and try to fake being me. Uh, so all in all, yeah, this is definitely uh, the vast improvement in terms of facial recognition software on notebooks and uh, the full review will be coming soon.